Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, a station where you watch and learn. Your tutor is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. I will take you in agriculture form 1, lesson 6, and the topic is factors influencing agriculture, and subtopic is climatic factor. On to our lesson objective. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain how climatic factors affect agriculture and the climatic factors these are basically an environmental factors you all know them they are either they either positively or negatively influence agriculture and some examples of climatic factors that influence agriculture we have rainfall temperature light wind and we have the relative humidity. Relative humidity, as you can see, we have examples of climatic factors. I've said there is rainfall, it is there. We have temperature, we have wind, we have relative humidity, and finally, we have, uh, we can look now on aspect on rainfall. There are several aspects of rainfall that influences agriculture, and the first aspect we have rainfall reliability. And the second one is amount of rainfall, the third rainfall distribution, and the fourth is rainfall intensity. So effect of uh, high temperature on crop, uh, we have high temperature will hasten the maturity of crop in the field. And also high temperature improve uh, quality of some crops, especially the pineapples and also high temperature may lead to wilting and eventually the crop may dry uh, and die. Then finally, uh, at high temperature, there are some uh, diseases and pests which are normally common. They are normally brought by high temperature. That is the pests such as aphid and also the disease uh, such as leaf lust in coffee. And we have wilting, I uh, have demonstrated wilting uh, leaf lust in coffee. That is how it is uh, characterized, as you can see on these images here, wilting. You can see wilted crops here uh, as a result of high temperature. Then we have effect of low temperature on crops. We have slow rate of growth. Why do I say slow rate of growth? Because the enzymes are inactivated by the low temperature. And therefore, the rate of photosynthesis will be slow. And the other one, we have disease. Uh, some diseases are known to come, are known to be brought uh, by low temperature. For example, we have CBD, that is coffee berry disease in coffee, and also Elgon dieback also in coffee. And also we have quality improvement. And on quality improvement, we can look on a crop that will normally uh, improve its quality with low temperature. And that crop is tea. And that's why you normally see most of the tea growers are normally located in central, in areas where we have very low temperature. And you can see uh, you have a cup of tea here, uh, which has been made uh, from a high quality tea. Even uh, it is appetizing. You can you you, you just swallow uh, uh, your saliva because of the color of it, because the quality is good. Then we have the effect of low temperature uh, to coffee plant, and low temperature also is known is known to destroy the, the, the crops by bringing the coffee berry disease. These are an example. The upper diagrams here illustrate uh, the coffee berry disease, uh, which is normally brought by low temperature, and the bottom uh, image is for a high quality. Uh, or a disease-free coffee berry uh, or coffee che uh, cherries. And therefore, you can see that uh, during uh, low temperature, uh, the coffee farmers are normally affected by uh, this disease. And we have diagrammatic representation of effect of wind on agriculture, or in other words, how does um, wind affect agriculture? The first one, we have effect on uh, soil erosion. 
and therefore you can see, you know that the wind has the erosive power, and therefore it can erode the soil and also carry it from one position to another. And therefore, from the place where the soil is removed, uh, the area is left infertile, and where the soil is deposited to, those areas are very deep. Uh, rich and fertile. Then we have destruction of farm structures. There are so, uh, structures which are uh, constructed in the farm. We have, for example, the galleries where we normally store the agricultural properties. Uh, in the event of a uh, very strong wind, uh, some of the, uh, the rooftops are blown off and therefore leading to the uh, destruction. We have spe uh, speed dis uh, seed dispersal. Also, wind is an agent of seed dispersal where the seed are removed from uh, the place of origin to and deposited to another uh, place. Then we have lodging of cereals, for example, the maize. In the event of high, strong uh, wind, uh, if the, uh, the, the plant does not contain a lot of water, its stem is weak and therefore it will end up falling. And that is what we refer to as lodging of cereals. Then spread of diseases and pests. Also wind is an agent uh, which facilitates the spread of pests and diseases, especially the pests which are light, which can be blown by the wind. And lastly, we have the uh, rate of evapotranspiration. And therefore, the wind is an agent that increases the rate of evapotranspiration. Evaporation is the process through which the ground and the water surface loses water in form of water vapor. On the other hand, transpiration is the process through which plant loses water in form of water vapor through the stomatas. An effect of relative humidity, uh, the first one, we have high uh, relative humidity. That is our, our quality improvement, uh, especially in coconut and palm nuts. They normally improve their quality with uh, uh, high relative humidity. The second one, we have low humidity. And an example uh, of effect of low humidity, we have wilting. Wilting on, is common to those uh, areas with low humidity. Then we have classification of plants based on light. We can classify them to three categories. We have the long day uh, plants, we have the short uh, day plant, and also the day neutral. And therefore, if we can look on effect of wavelength on photosynthesis, uh, the light, the ordinary light is made up of seven uh, types of lights. We have the seven colors of the rainbow. And the colors, uh, the wavelengths which is required during photosynthesis, we have the blue and we have the red uh, wavelength. They are very, very important. They have high quality and that's why they are very important when it comes to the process of photosynthesis. And we have effects of light intensity on rate of photosynthesis. As you can see, illustrated on this diagram, the rate of, uh, as light intensity increases, the rate of photosynthesis also increases. Then we are going to look on the activity. The question number one, which I'm going to leave you with, is state any four aspects of rainfall that influence agriculture. And the second question is explain how wind influence agriculture. And for reference, you can refer to secondary agriculture student book two, written by the publisher, that is the KLB. And for more information, uh, or for clarification, you can contact us through these addresses. We have the SMS. Uh, you can use this number as I display it. Uh, then we have the Facebook. You can use the Erimu TV. Then we have the Twitter. You can reach us through at Erimu TV at uh, underscore KE. Thank you for watching.